Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. The Czech Republic is set to significantly enhance its ground units by integrating small FPV, first-person view, drones for reconnaissance and strike missions. This strategic move is part of the newly approved concept for the construction of the Army of the Czech Republic, KVAR. While initial discussions on drone deployment were sparse, the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has underscored the critical role of unmanned vehicles in modern warfare, prompting the Czech army to expand the use of these drones across its forces. The conflict in Ukraine has served as a stark reminder of the transformative impact of technology in combat scenarios. The Czech military has taken note of this and plans to extend the use of small drones beyond specialized units like special forces and paratroopers, making them available to all soldiers on the ground. Experimental training courses for this technology have already commenced, with full-scale deployment anticipated within three years. Protecting current and future military equipment against drone threats is a key aspect of this initiative. This initiative is driven not only by the practical lessons from the Ukrainian conflict but also by the Czech military's role in supplying Ukraine with thousands of FPV drones. These drones are assembled in the Czech Republic using primarily Asian components. Milan Mikuliki, co-founder of the D-Group Association, explained, the final assembly takes place in the Czech Republic. We verified that we can produce all the components, but it would not be economically viable, so we import some things from Asia. General Karel Reka, head of the Czech Army and honorary chairman of the D-Group Association, emphasized the mutual benefits of assisting Ukraine, stating, thanks to Ukraine's help and the supply of these drones, we are also gaining the necessary know-how for our army. Initially, the Czech military planned to acquire large surveillance and attack drones. However, the strategy has shifted towards equipping soldiers at basic tactical levels with real-time situational awareness tools akin to those used by civilian drone operators. General Roman Haitha, director of the Army's Intelligence Security Section, highlighted this tactical shift. To address this need, the Czech Army will procure hundreds of small drones for widespread use. Colonel Magda Dvorakova, the Army spokeswoman, noted that extensive preparations, including training courses, are underway to integrate drones into the arsenal across all units. Soldiers are currently participating in experimental training courses for small tactical attack FPV drones, with early implementation plans underway. Additionally, the Army is exploring the use of loitering munitions, or suicide drones, with deployment anticipated within three years. In addition to deploying drones, the Czech Army is bolstering its defense mechanisms against such threats. This includes negotiating with an Israeli supplier for standby ammunition systems, aiming to acquire 10 sets and over 200 missiles, including practice ammunition. While the supplier's identity remains confidential, it is speculated to be Uvision from Israel, which collaborates with Rainmetal, a German arms manufacturer. The Czech Army's comprehensive strategy includes not only deploying drones and suicide munitions but also enhancing defenses against these threats. This involves modifying tactical and operational procedures, employing camouflage, deceptive targets, advanced detection, and other measures. According to Colonel Dvorakova, the Army continuously analyzes protection solutions, drawing insights from exercises like the drone shield and incorporating these findings into future projects. In summary, the Czech Republic's move to integrate small FPV drones into its military operations represents a significant advancement in its defense capabilities. By learning from the Ukrainian conflict and leveraging international collaborations, the Czech army is poised to enhance both its offensive and defensive operations, ensuring its preparedness for modern warfare challenges. That's all for now, see you later.